Before I dive into the presentation, I'd just like to say something about uh, this strange uh, approach to organizations developed by uh, an Israeli physicist who wrote a novel, um, The Theory of Constraints and Its Future. Uh, we do more than uh, not only 80%, but currently 100% of our work is theory of constraints, about half in projects and half in production. And I'm finding it easier and easier to sell and implement and that is because it is getting more and more pertinent and it is intrinsically, always has been, anti-fragile. And so the more tsunamis we have, the more Wall Street goes up and down or whatever, the, the more the potential and the interest for theory of constraints will be. And why is that? Um, well, the world is, is moving faster and faster, right? New technologies, new clients, new markets, uh, all the obvious stuff. Things change faster and faster. In the good old days, people had about they, they could take two years to rebalance their plant once the environment had changed. They no longer can at all. So I don't even bother explaining why you should not uh, balance the system, you know, the dice game and all that. Uh, people don't think they can do it anymore. That's one. Two, the levels of imbalance in, in factories are much larger than they used to be or in, or in projects. And we can find 100, sometimes 400% excess capacity on a non-bottleneck. Okay, things just move too fast. You know, the, the, they're still trying to live with annual budgets when you know uh, before the year starts, it's dead. Okay, so uh, what does a series of constraints bring to that? Uh, a uh, constraints and non-constraints are there and stronger and stronger. Uh, and second, uh, the theory of constraints once it gets working is about a hundred times faster than anything else. A hundred times faster than lean and six sigma. As was pointed out, I spend a lot of my time, you know, I, I know about lean and, and the theater way and stuff, uh, and I have a lot of respect for it. I love it. But it's slow. Uh, and it's too slow for a lot of organizations, apart from Toyota that started 60 years ago. Okay? So, you know, obviously the future of theory constraints, uh, if we do our job correctly, is, is uh, growing from month to month. And it's easier and easier to do, easier and easier to convince people, and it's more and more pertinent. Okay? So off we go. Um, 